Welcome guys to the Clash of Kings. Now, last episode I was over there. I have moved away from where I, I was from last episode. Um, don't get don't get worried. I haven't really done anything. I've uh, I have been in a fight with a with a few Lannister lords, but it was their armies were around about the size of forty, so it was no competition. So I didn't show it, and you know I do show a lot of these battles, but um, and they're basically the same thing every single time. So at the moment I'm just sort of thinking about what settlement should, should I take next. There's so many to take to take. And to be honest, I am really not enjoying attacking these kind of castles. They're so they're getting so boring. Oh, who's this prig? 180 men. Oh, should we take him on? I think we should take him on. Let's take him on. Oh, let's do this. So let's move in to help Lord, uh, whatever his name is, and we shall lead our troops to battle. We have 179 against their 175. We're gonna win this. Well, I hope so anyway. Anyways, as you see on my back, I have a new shield. It's a nice big shield there. Uh, I I've got this because. Uh, when we attack castles and stuff, we need bigger shields to, you know, stop all the arrow fire. So that's the reason why I got the shield. Okay, well, I have no idea what I was saying before. Someone came in the room, so I had to stop it. But anyway, I think we should just focus on this battle anyway. I think I was, I think I talked talk about my shield, wasn't I? Anyway, nice big shield. That's great. Alright, so, what's we have here? That's a lot of men. So the Reach are going that way. Or is that the Riverlands? I'm pretty sure it's the Reach. Anyway, so let's get our infantry, make him stand closer, make him stand closer, we'll make him stand about there. We got archers to go there, stand closer, stand closer, stand closer. I'm gonna get my inside to go around the flank over there. I'm gonna get my cab to follow me. Right. And if you can see, I've got a lot of these sergeants. These are just like your average troops that you recruit at a castle. I did go back to Bane Fort and I did take these guys out of the settlement. Um, oh my god, look at all this. They're all coming on this side. Right, everyone. I'm gonna pull back. I'm gonna pull my archers there. There we go. Right. Where are you going? Wait, what are you doing? I didn't tell him to charge, did I? No, I told him to just. Oh my god. Why? They're not. Did they, did they actually charge? Oh my god. I don't know what. Right. I am not sure if I'm just going mental right now, but I did not tell him to do that. Right. I. Oh, I'm so. I have no idea what just happened there. I'm. I am fairly sure I told my men to. to come back. What's all this shit? Why do they keep turning invisible? What's all this crap, eh? Stop turning invisible. Bad. Stupid lands twat, sorry. I hate this, they're all on the board of the map, so they keep vanishing. Mountain Blade 2, take that out, that's annoying. <laughs> what, what, what are my allies doing? They just. What are they doing over there? Let me do all the work. Right, everyone just follow me, because you know what? Stupid lands are pricks. Alright. Bugger off. Yeah, good work, mate. You know, just slowly walk away. I like your tactics. This whole position here, guys. You know what? Screw it. Who's this guy? What a tool. We'll, we'll, we'll let our oh, ally do the rest of the work. We, we didn't do anything, did he? Yeah, you're slash. We did all the hard work and he's just chasing out. <laughs> he's still losing men. Oh, dear. Well, that was really confusing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to watch through that recording and see what my men were actually doing. I s I'm pretty sure I told them to stand over here so that my allies could come and flank them, but uh, they were just charged. I must have hit the wrong button. Uh, oh, look, 74 ran away. That's so cheap. God damn it. Do you know what? My army stay here. I'm an, I'm. Look, let's let my let's let my um my my good buddies here, my my reach friends, to take him on. If they like to attack this time. So what's his name? Lord Alistair Flor Flor Florent. Florent. Right, okay. You know, I'm going to go march along with his reach troops. Here we go. See what they're made of. You know, you have to study your friends. Because one day you might be going to war with them. Who knows? So I'm going to fight along these reach tw these reach fellows. I'm, I am going to bring my archers over though. Because I want all my archers to get some nice kills. So I'm going to stand there. He went, 
So these guys keep keep going that way. Now you keep going that way. So I'm gonna tell my whole force actually come and stand over here. Do you know, what? I'm not fighting in this in this round. I we got tired from last round and it wasn't fair. We're not fighting this round. You're not making us. You're not gonna make us fight. <laughs> right, I'll just stand here. Where are you going? Either attack or keep running away. Like you look. Oh, you just, what are you doing? This is just like the newbies like, you know what, let's keep moving this way, so we don't have to fight them again. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, we've li we've literally done a complete 360. And this guy just does not want to fight. What a complete, utter prick. Do you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm considering going to the war, going to war with the Reach, just because of this. This is driving me insane. The fact that they have a bigger army than me, I have the little army, I was their backup, I'm their, basically their backup force, and they don't want to fight. Look at that, look at that, it's just, this is ridiculous, I'm not fight. I'm not fighting them, my men, my men don't deserve it, my men have fought long and hard, some of these men have been with me since the start, okay, it'd be nice to have one day off where we don't fight, but to be honest, it doesn't, look, looks like that's not, that's not gonna be, that's not gonna happen. Ah, oh, god damn it! The Reach, what a pathetic bunch of. Oh, damn it. No, it's just their lords, and their weight and their tactics. Look, we've we're going around in circles. This is so stupid. We're going around in circles. Oh shit! I've had enough, guys. I've had enough. I'm gonna stand my ground and I'm gonna fight. Cause you know what? There we go. Come then. I've had enough of this prick general and my prick ally. Do you know what? I am so tempted just to go to war with him after, straight after this is attack his prick army. So, so tempted. So tempted. Because if I lose any men today, I mean, look, look at these, look at these, losing good men. They will never go back home to their families now because of the reach, because they're prick. Look at them. Oh, now they join in this when the fight's already started. You... Utter twat, prick. I hate you all. I'm done with, I'm done with these gen- I'm, you know, I'm just gonna rule all of Westeros one day because, you know what? Everyone's a prick! Shoot me, I dare ya. Come on then, shoot me. SHOOT ME! HIT ME! That's right. Thank you, Sir Sim. Sir Sim. Thank you, Felton Flowers. You're my saviour. You've been shot in the neck. <laughs> You fucking prick, you shit. Come here, come here! I bloody hate you. Thanks for your help, stranger. We haven't probably met. My name's King F, you prick. Oh, uh, well met, King F. I am Lord Alistair Florent. I'm a prick. Uh, thanks thanks for your help, and I hope we meet again. Yes! Thanks for the help! I did it! Oh, you prick! I yield congratulations on your victory, sir. You are free to- You know, I'm gonna let you go. No, actually, no, you- You were annoying. You were- No, you were really- You know what? I'm gonna let you go. You are indeed a man of honor, sir. I shall not forget this. You know what? I'm going to try and get that guy to join me. Yeah, crappy swords and shields. Don't want any of them. Right. Right. This is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go and convince Sir uh, Plum Guy to join me. You know what? Because I can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. On my, on my way back, two of my best companions I've ever had join me. You know, it's good to finally have these guys in the area. It's been, it's been a while. You know, I'm going to give this guy, Sir, what's his name? Sir Crow said, I'm going to swap his sentiments when I get, um, Casey. I'm not, sure that's, I'm not sure that's how you meant to properly pronounce that, but, um, anyway, I, when I get that, I'm going to swap it for him because he owns the ruins of something, something back down, I mean, yes, um, over in, uh, Essos, uh, near Volantis. So, if I can swap it for him, he won't have to keep going back there. Yeah. Sounds, sounds like a plan to me. So let's go to Bane Fort. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Lord's Hall. Alright. I'm going to go talk to Knut. I think it's Knut who owns this. So he's basically, basically my... My... Uh, my. He's my man. Let's get some on the side. Thank you. Yeah, Knut. Alright, that's how much you service, my lord. Alright. Alright, I want to... I want to hire new stuff. No, what's this? 
No, it's because I already have them all. Do you have any ideas? No, I wish to dispatch an error. No, I think that's the wrong thing. I want to indict a disloyal vassal for treason. I wish to replace myself as marshal. Oh no, that's what he is. He's my marshal. I wish to grant one of my vassals a fear. No. I wish to exchange a prisoner. I want to persuade a lord to join my... Yeah, here we go. Um, we shall give him... We shall give him... Castle Rock. Yes, because I, I don't really want Castle Rock, to be honest. Um, so yes, Castle Rock. So we'll go to the river, the Westerlands. And we'll, uh, we want something plum, isn't it? So plum. Let's look for plum. Ah, oh, shit, which one was it? Oh, no, there's two of them. Alright, guys, I'm, I'm going to have to look through my recording. One sec. Alright, it was called Philip. Philip Plum. There he is. Philip Plum. And I'm going to send one of my... Let's send this guy out. Yes. Very well, I shall send... Well, I'm not sure how you to say that, that guy's name. Let's just call him Pike. To this, uh, to the Westlands to persuade Lord Philip Plum and offer him Castle Rock. Yes, do that. Okay. Hopefully, we'll get a good reply. Right. Now, let's go do some more killing. Okay, guys. So, the crag is a settlement that we've been thinking about taking for such a long time now. And I do have two of my strongest companions with me. We have a large force. And, yes, as, as you saw, I did get some more unsullied. So, we are... Pretty powerful right now. I'm not sure we got all. Well, we got 111 active. He's got 116. He's got 82. So I think we should try and take this out. Now I'm not going to show you this full battle because it's going to be kind of annoying. But I'll show you the best parts. Now let's get started.
Yes, the crack is ours. Now, that was pretty quick, you might see, but that, was, that, that battle went for quite a while, actually. Now, I don't want to show you everything, because basically the same thing happens in every siege battle. You fight, you fight, you win, you fight, and yeah. There you go. We have the crag now. Who should I give it to? I'll keep it for myself again, because I'm not exactly sure who I want to give that to. Alright. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, river landlords around here. I wonder what, the, what they're up to. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, this episode. I am soon going to take out some more settlements. Uh, we're going to take out these three, hopefully, in one episode. That'll be a lot of fun. And hopefully we'll take out that settlement once and for all, finally. But until then, guys, ta-ta.